If you are among those that are unhappy with the way WordPress Media Library is presented, especially when you have a much complex website with a lot of files in your media, then stick around as I take you through a couple of plugins that can help you organize your library. There are free versions and pro version plugins that can help you organize your WordPress Media Library. However, the free version of the plugin I will be showing you is capable of handling complex websites with thousands of media files as one of the plugins allows you to create unlimited main folders for free and the other goes as far as allowing you to create unlimited subfolders as well. My name is Chris Otiba. This is the Creative Arena. This is the channel where I help you become more better with WordPress and the creative world at large. So let's jump over and get started. So after testing out a lot of the plugins out there, there are two of these plugins that I think is really great that you might want to check out. So before we head on to activating this plugin, let's check out how our uh, WordPress default media library looks like and then what the changes so we can notice the changes that each of the plugins bring on board. So now this is our WordPress default media library. You can see and then here you can just set a list. Uh, where you can see some more details about each of the uh, the files uploaded so now let's head on to the plugin and then go to install plugins i've already taken our time to install the boot plugins the one of which is the remedial library and then the other is the file but both plugins are of the free version so we'll be activating the remedial library first so now that we've successfully activated it now let's head back to our media to see how what our library looks like so as you can see this plugin comes with a new section called the folder section so right next to this text called folders you see this button here what this button does is allows you to create new folders so we'll click on the folder to create a new let's create a new folder called uh, partners and then we save it so right next to it this allows us to create new collection however we, since we're using the free version this particular feature is only available on the pro version and we cannot make use of it so since we're using the free version i only stick to those features that are available on the free version so right below here you can see the various features that are available so let's say we select a folder Oh, for, for instance, this first one is a general settings. When you click on it, it shows you the general settings. And when you're done set, making all your changes, you can just hit on the save button and you go back. Now, right next to it is to reorder files in a particular folder. This feature is only available on the pro version, so we're going to skip it. And right next to it allows you to refresh uh, a current folder view. So right next to that is a rename. So when you select a, few, a folder, let's so select this folder and we we'll click on this. It allows us to rename it. Allows us to rename it. Then we can save it. Then right next to that is to delete. So any folder you selected, you can easily delete that particular folder. So let's say we select this folder called uh, people and then we can just easily, just like normal, you just drag and drop your image on that particular folder. It's done. That's that's as simple as that. Or we can even go to uh, all files, or rather uncategorized files, and then we just is simply drag a particular picture, a few image, or file to any folder of our choice. And so we drag this and drop it here, and it just been moved there. So when you click on an image to see the attachment details, you can see right here that the media library. The, the real media library creates a virtual folder structure. The URL of uploads do not change when you move the files. So what this means is that your URL structure do not change whenever you move a particular file to any of the folders you've created. So right next to the delete option, you see this um, this icon here. This allows you to change the hierarchical order of the folders. Though this feature is only available on the pro version right next to that you can see these three dotted lines when you click on it on a particular um, folder let's say we've selected this folder and then we'll click on this um, three dot it's going to open the folder details and give us a insight of the folder and then we can even add the folder description and then the cover image for that particular folder once we're done we'll click on save and it gets saved up so that's pretty much it about the Real Media Library. So we'll be heading to the next plugin. So we're just going to go back to the plugins, install plugins, and then we're going to deactivate the Real Media Library plugin. We're going to deactivate this, and then if you head on to your uh, Media Library, 
you will see that everything you've added the library the the plugin came with has gone and then you have your default wordpress media library so now let's head back to the install plugin so we can install the second plugin uh, which is the firebird light so we're going to activate this plugin so now we'll, since we're done activating the plugin we'll now head back to the media library to see what it looks like as you can see the plugin comes with a, a new section called the folder section which is where all the folders you and sub folders you will be creating will appear so right here you can see right above here you can see this button here just as the name implies it allows you to create a new folder so when you click on the button you can create a new folder let's call the folder uh, new images and then we save it now when you select a particular folder let's say this new folder we've created we select it it opens up and then show you all the various media files that can be found in that particular folder as in this case this folder is empty so we can click on new folder to add a new folder under this particular folder we can call the folder uh, images one and then we can save it we can still do the same and add another folder and let's say we call it images so we can add unlimited subfolders and unlimited folders in this pod with this particular plugin pre-version unlike the previous plugin we discussed whereby you can only add unlimited folders and you and you can add uh, subfolders only with the pro version however this particular plugin allows you the firebird plugin allows you to create unlimited folders and unlimited subfolders as well so here when you hit click on this uh, three dots here it, it shows you the options to add box select folders and then create a, make a particular action with each of the selected folders and then you can also see the settings here this settings allows you to set your default startup folder so once you're done you can click on save now when you select a particular plug, uh, folder let's say this folder you can rename the folder to a new folder or whatever you want let's say um, uh, photos store and then you click on save you can also delete this selected folder by clicking on delete and then you delete the folder now you can as well drag and drop images to any folder of your choice let's say we drag this image to the people's folder drag this image to here you can drag this image to here you can drag this to background and two one and two folder the good thing is that these folders are all virtual folder just as i mentioned earlier so whatever fit in whatever you do with this particular folder it doesn't affect your media files so let's say we delete this particular uh, folder has this image now if we should delete this folder here and then we'll go to all folders you can see that the image is here just the folder that was deleted so you can right click on each of the folders here and see other features that you can perform you can cut you can paste you can delete rename and then this folder this feature here to change color and to download folder is available on the pro version of the plugin so now when you go down to the the plugin link here you can go to the firebird settings here you can see uh, various settings which this first setting here when you toggle this on it allows you for, it allows for each user to has to uh, to have his or her own uh, folder. Now, right next to that, you can see the the breadcrumb. This allows you to show breadcrumbs on your uh, media library, and then the folder counter. This counts files in each folder. Then this other option counts files in both the parent folder and the sub folder as well. Then right down here, you see the firebird theme. This is uh, the various theme options. Although these f f options are available only on the pro version. Now, when you go down to on the tool section you can see the various tools that are available here you can clear all the data and then you go to the input this feature comes to the uh, is available for the free version whereas in other plugins this particular feature is only available on the pro version what the feature does is it allows for you to import um, data and import folders and files from other media library plugins that are out there and it supports a lot of plugins and then you can check that on the WordPress um, uh, plugin repository and see a lot of features that this Firebird plugin provides you. So um, that's pretty much it about the Firebird plugin. And so we've come to the end of today's tutorial. If you're new to the channel, please do well to subscribe and then hit the bell icon so you get notified first when next I drop a new content. 
you can also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy the content and drop your comment wherever you're confused or suggestions and i will attend to them thank you and see you on our next video bye, -bye.